Well, hey folks, BC7 here, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to some more card life. Yes, indeed, we are in our little cardboard world. And what they'd like us to do today is build ourselves a clothing rack. Hmm. Alright, so we can refine some coarse hide. Alright, do we have the materials? Let's find the rack first. Adhesive, well, that ain't it. Enchanting, here we are, a clothing rack. Uh, we need wood, well, we need four coarse hides, and we need fiber. Now, I'm pretty sure that somewhere I may have the... Oh, it would help if I actually opened the chest. Um, no. Do-do-do. Are these coarse hides like wolf pelts? So oh, not really. Uh, where the heck? I know I have some. Copper ingots. Alright, let's try... This one. Uh, here we are. Coarse hides. We will need those. And... Hmm. Looks like we need a little bit more wood here to uh, get ourselves going, so... Let's grab our hacks. Now, there has been some updates, improvements, patches, however you'd like to look at it. This is, after all, early access. And one of them was... Uh, a change with some of the critters. Um, they now have passives. So, the crabs apparently have been switched from violently aggressive to passive, so unless you attack them, they'll just wander around and look at you. Oh, I've broken my wooden hatchet. This is not the good. Uh, let's product a one of those. The other thing is, you don't actually have to stay within the dotted lines anymore. So, I guess within reason, your creations now can become, well, perhaps too unwieldy to manage. <laughs> but no, it's going to give you a little more freedom in uh, how you would like to create your, uh, your different tools, weapons, clothing, well, everything, you know. There, of course, have been a few others, but, you know. Those are the ones I think that, uh, there's been like a change in spawning places on multiplayer so people can be easier found. Um, quite a few little quality of life and other sort of improvements along that line in the, uh, in the multiplayer end of the game. They've also added some new enemies in the form of... I believe they call it an Avoid droid. <laughs> Which is kind of a big uh, mechanized dude that uh, looks really quite... Oh. Quite nasty. But he'll also drop a new weapon in the game. Which is uh, a sort of an electric sword. That apparently will one-shot bears and such. But uh, has an incredibly low durability because it's only a prototype. So, Okay, that sounded like something getting close. <laughs> Let's eat us some berries. Yeah, a little bit different, we'll eat one of those. There we are. The full. In fact, we are stuffed. All right, so this should be enough wood. So I do like the fact that although this game will separate your wood into different stacks based on, you know, whether you're cutting down an oak tree or a cherry tree or, you know, whatever the case may be, but they will still all count towards a craft. You know, 
So if you uh, need 18 logs and you have 14 oak logs and, you know, you have four redwood logs, well, you'll be able to craft whatever it is you needed. So that's kind of cool. All in all, they're doing a, <coughs> excuse me, a pretty impressive job on this game. You know, I realize the aesthetics may not appeal to everyone, but as an actual crafting survival game, it's also pretty darn good. So if you're into that genre, that alone might carry it through for you. So, are we any closer to our rack of the clothing? What do we need now? Ah, we need one more coarse hide. Okay. So. Hmm. Well, that means we need to do uh, some hunting. So, switch over to hunting mode. And... Uh, now, I don't think it's regular critters either. I think it's these weird things. So let's try and go after... Uh, no. See, there's a problem. I don't want to attract a wolf at the same time. I mean, I can take a wolf singly. There's our coarse hide. Excellent. <laughs> I like this crossbow. <laughs> what a great weapon, man. Alright, now we can build our clothing rack. So, let's put this little toy away. Let's see, F key to empty your hands. There we go. Okay, now, if we clothing rack... Uh, no, we got lots of food. Lots of food. There we are. Let's craft this. Boom. Okie dokie. What did we get here? Dull magic essence. Nice. Nice. Alright, let's uh, come out of here and let's place Zerak. Uh, what do we got here? Eh. Yeah, I guess that's going to be about our best of spot. There we go. We do refine coarse hide. Ah. Uh. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't think I have any, do I? No, 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 no. Ooh, it's going to allow us to make leather, leather strips, thread, rugged leather, and rugged leather strips. Interesting. All right, so we apparently need to rearm before the sun go down and get us some more coarse hide. So, now mind you, it's actually easier in the dark to get coarse hide because all the real slimy jimies come out then. There'll be goblins and these flappy dudes and no end to the uh, wonders. I like that this has got such a nice range to it, too, this crossbow. It's a great weapon. And considering I'm fairly early in when you get down to it. Um, got to be careful because at some point they're all just going to spawn all around the place. I don't want to be too far from my house when that happens. How many arrows do I have left? Only three. Yikes, that's only enough to take down one more enemy. So let's finish this quest and uh, get ourselves some more arrows built, shall we? Let's, uh, let's have a look first. Stone bolts. What do I need? Uh, stone, wood... And fiber. Okay. I have lots of stone. I just happen to have it in my inventory. So, <clears throat> let's go to you. Alright. And let's... What would they like us to do? Oh, we need two. Okie dokie. Not an issue. Not issue at all. So, in here we have this. 
Uh, couple of these, those, uh, okay. And only one coarse hide, huh? But what I do need, and I do believe I have some, yes I do, stone, there we go. Alright, I need to build stone arrows, because we have to do ourselves some hunting. Some hunting, hunting very much. Yes, damage increase plus five. Okay, and let's craft. Oh. Okay. I think we have enough now. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okie dokie. So now, oh, that's the wrong one, of course. Hmm. There we go. Let's put our stone back. We'll, uh, Alright, a little bit of wood, a little bit of hide. Okay, now the wood I don't need to carry on me. Alright, I don't really need to carry those hides, in fact. Let's put them away, just in case. And let's see what's wandering about the neighborhood. Because we need a collection of coarse hides. So, hmm, we don't have the night spawn yet. That's always a little scary, because they are just going to start spawning. And if I end up getting too many of them around me, I'm hooped. It's one thing to be able to drop these guys with three shots. There we go. One rancid meat, one coarse hide. <coughs> I didn't get hit too bad. Not too bad. Alright, let's craft that first coarse hide. And then we'll... Uh, see what our next quest of Ooh is. Um, right. I put the other one away just in case things got a little intense. There we go. No, come on. Coarse hide to coarse hide. What are you doing? Do these not stack? Hmm. Well, that's a little bit whack. <laughs> I never use that word, by the way. I think it's kind of weird. All right, here we go. So they would like it. What? Oh, I need some plant fiber. Okay. Hmm, this one? Yes, indeed, there we go, plant fiber. Excellent. All right, let's finally get this guy done, shall we? Yes, we can do this, we can make coarse leather. Now, it is what they want, isn't it? Refine coarse hide. All right, well, or we could make it into thread. Well, no, let's go with this, shall we? And let's craft it. Boom, all right. Craft a copper pickaxe using the forge. Alright, I can do that. Um, ah, okay. So, I can also make... Oh, I see. Hmm, interesting. Oh, that just requires... Okay, that requires just these guys' fiber. Alright. Let's craft some of those. There we go. Nice. Now, let's add our goodies. So they want us to craft a copper pickaxe. Now, I've already made some ingots, so that is going to help our cause. Using the forge. 
I'm hungry again. Uh. There we go. Uh, boomity boomity boom. Craft a copper pickaxe using the forge. So, one copper. S oh, that's a sickle. Sorry, <laughs> copper pickaxe. What do we need? We've got enough of that. We need wood and oh, coarse leather strips. Uh oh. There you go, eh? They're letting us know. So, we need to take you. And, uh, what else they need? Some wood, huh? There we go. Oh, and now I need to craft this. Okay. And now... <coughs> oops. I'm sorry. Wrong button. There we go. One copper pickaxe. Lovely. My stone one's just about toast anyway. Craft. Alright, so, shape. Uh... There we go. So yeah, you see, you can actually go well beyond now. Oops. Uh, okay. There we go. Create. Okay. We now have quite the pickaxe. Why did that go in there? That's kind of weird. Oh, I guess because that's where I took it from. All right. Equip a compass. Press M for map. A compass. Now we're talking. Equip a compass. A compass. Where would... Ah, that looks to be a compass. Okay, we need wood and we need some iron ingots. So, hmm, I don't think I actually, what do we got going on here? Fuel or, hmm, yeah, it has fuel. Okay, needs ore. I don't think we, oh, I don't think I could even refine it before. It appears, however that uh, daylight is upon us. So, well, let's equip our shiny, oh, that's a horrible looking thing, in it? <laughs> uh, let's face it, that's just a horrible looking thing. All right, so what I'd like to do here is find a, Hopefully a little bit of exposed. All right. Well, here's the uh, mine I was using. iron. Now, as I said, there are surface deposits of it that you can quite easily reach. I just happen to happen to find any yet. Oh, 
why did he get down here? Unless there's some kind of a cave or something. Hmm. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh -huh. Alright, let's let ourselves heal up a little bit here. Ah, there is a cave, you see. Alright, let's, uh... I believe I do. Okay. Let's replace that with that. And... Let's do that. Now I think that this is some iron. Dirt, stone, copper. Hmm. Weird. Oh, he is down there. He's just sort of hidden a little bit. Come on, buddy. Alright. Still no iron, though. Hmm. Well, that's a drag, because that's the end of the cave. Hmm. Well, 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 well. Okay, this is just being a little awkward. So... That's too bad. It almost looks like there's another cave system down that way. Oh, what do we got here? Is this iron? No, no iron down here either. Well, quite disappointing. No, it's all either dirt or stone. Hmm. That's rather disappointing. I don't seem to see any iron down in this area. Hmm. 
Oh my. I don't think he should really be there. Prototype robot. Uh-oh. He's gone. That's not good. It's weird. Hmm. All right. Well, that's not good. <laughs> I still need to find iron. Let's see if we can find a, a little bit more exposed. I would think over on that rock that we'd be able to find some. Only problem being, seems to me last time I was in this area, there was maybe a little bit of uh, overtly nasty stuff. Ah, now the crabs are now supposed to be passive until uh, convinced of otherwise. Uh, so... Maybe this place won't be quite as nasty as it was. Hmm. I don't see any. Wow. It's quite the zone. Let's see what we can find down here, I guess. Bugger. see any iron. This cave's a little hard to uh, deal with as well. Mm -hmm. Jeez, that's funny. When I was uh, first checking the game out, the uh, zone I spawned where there was no wolves, well, I found tons of iron. <laughs> it was like exposed to the surface all over the place. Well, this one. What the heck is that? What is that? Sand fragments. Uh oh. I gotta know though, what's this thing? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. much as strong as I am, I'm afraid. I need to build some better tools. 
I think it's time that we built ourselves a more powerful weapon. And what is that exactly? I think that's just sand, isn't it? Yeah, stone compact stuff. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's really too bad. As I said, there was iron all over the place in my first one. There was just no wolves. And unfortunately, without wolves, I could not continue. So. Well, let's head back up to the house. glow over there that's an elite animal looks like an elite boar so again until I get better weapons we're not gonna be going after those I will tell you and I think guys that's probably gonna do it for this time around so our next project of course is to get this compass functional so that we can get ourselves some mappage so hope everybody enjoyed the episode it's, uh, as I said, I quite enjoy the game. If you're into crafting survival games, hey, this isn't a bad one at all. There will be a link to the game in the description down below. Take care of each other, folks, and ciao for now.